UCLA's planetarium, uh, we have planetarium shows every Wednesday night. Um, so every Wednesday it's completely free and open to the public and it's one of very few um, planetariums that are actually free. Uh, you know, there's Griffith Planetarium which has a great show but they charge $15 to get in. So it's not just grads and it's not just astronomy, there's a lot of volunteers at UCLA who love to do this. We'll do a short presentation about a special topic, so it can be galaxies or, you know, the uh, cosmic microwave background or planets or, um, you know, sort of a topic of our choosing. Spend like 20 minutes or so talking about that and hopefully teach you something new, something cool that you can go home and impress other people that you know about. Uh, and then the second part of the show is what you normally think of as a planetary show. So it's the night sky show where we turn the lights all the way down. Um, we use a big star projector we have in the middle of the room to shine stars and galaxies, planets, um, and some nebulae to up on our ceiling. But uh, once, the, once the lights turn off, um, you really, you get to see the night sky in a way that you can't see it from L.A. Um, so what we like to do is sort of turn on the stars and leave a little bit of light on and so it looks kind of hazy and that's the night sky from L.A. And then we slowly turn the lights off and more and more stars come out and people usually are sort of gasping. And they... Yeah, so we do all age ranges all the way through, uh, you know, K through gray. Some of the kids shows are actually some of the most fun to do because they're really excited, they're really interested in, in seeing stars that if you grow up in LA, you don't really get to see. A lot of uh, older people, uh, adults I should say, are they're still interested in astronomy. Um, a lot of times you read something in the newspaper about some new discovery and it just sparks some curiosity and you want to come and learn more about it. That's why a lot of people come here. Just because you're you know, 65 instead of 6 doesn't mean that you can't learn something new and um, you know, enjoy yourself at the same time. It really is a lot of fun to come to your show. It's not a lot of your time, it's an hour if you want to come to a public show. Um, like I said, you can bring anyone. It is a good date night. It's cheap, it's free. When people come into the planetarium for the first time, they sort of have to wind their way through this sort of dark, tiny hallway. And then once they sit down and we start turning on um, sort of the stars and turning down the lights, then it's just going to get darker and darker. And um, it gets so dark with all the doors closed that you cannot see anything except for the night sky above you. In fact, it's so dark that if you turn on your cell phone or something like that, it lights up the entire dome. Um, so what you see here is a star ball. It's basically a, a really nice projector. And so it can turn and spin so that you can change the time of day and the latitude that you're at. Um, so you can accurately represent the night sky anywhere from anywhere on Earth at any time of night. The best we can do right now to explore space is to do astronomy. Um, that's one of the really things that I really like about it. Is, um, you know, I feel like I'm exploring without really having to leave home. To our knowledge, the universe is infinite. Um, there's no reason to believe that it's finite and enclosed. Whether you become a scientist or not, you know, even if you end up being a politician or something, we need politicians and, and people in leadership positions to know about science and to appreciate it and to respect it. Um, so it's, it's really important that, you know, besides just the Big Bang Theory, people get some real science um, you know, in an everyday setting.